Senator Delgado. Uh, to the bill, Mr. President. To, I rise to the bill. I rise in strong support. Ladies and gentlemen of the General Assembly, we got to get our minds off the corner. We got to get our mind off of sativa, cannabis sativa. There's two types of marijuana. There is indica and there's sativa. So if you look at sativa, cannabis sativa, indica is the most prominent drug or marijuana strain that is grown for medical marijuana. It is, matter of fact, GW Pharmaceuticals has a trial going on in Washington, D.C. If anyone should be held accountable for the amount of drugs that are, false, uh, that are, that are killing our young people and adults through this nation should be the FDA because they're the ones that are letting out Oxycontin with 800 milligrams of acetaminophen. They're the ones that let out Vicodin, which is hydrocordone, with 800 milligrams of acetaminophen, the common denominator, that are killing more than... Actually, it's second to gunshot wounds by death in America is by opiates. Second now, according to the CDC, look it up on your Google. Center for Disease Control and ask, what is the number two killer next to automobile deaths, accidents in cars, opiates, specifically Xanax, hydrocordone, which is Vicodin, which is Oxycontin, which is found in every medical home, every home. And children see that as a benign prescription. They see mom and dad do it. So at the end of the day, we're talking about a plant that actually comes in two strains. And when I used to bust marijuana, I thought it was marijuana. But a defense attorney can come and argue, this is indica marijuana, and wind up reducing it in terms of its strains and what it can create and what it can be. The major force that Mr. Hain is talking about is called a cannabinoid. And we can let the scientists talk about that. This is a little too deep for this General Assembly. This is about patients that are suffering with osteoporosis. This is about individuals that are having a difficult time finding solutions to their cancer pains, that are finding other solutions, and are going to the black market buying it anyway. We must find these solutions, and in the strains of, of, of what Senator Haynes is proposing here is not only rational, but is also the wave and where things are going in terms of being able to control some of the things we're trying to do. I would hope that we're going to have such a spirited debate when I bring legislation to curb hydrocordone, to put it in Schedule 2, to make sure that we don't have opiates and children and adults dying like flies in this nation. And we're talking about marijuana? Marijuana. When, you, when I had a hearing down in Southern Illinois University, 400 people attended. No one talked about over, overdosing on marijuana. They said my son fell asleep and when he woke up he was starving. Because he had smoked herb. He smoked a joint. But when they take Vicodin, when they take Xanax, when they take the drugs that are coming out of the FDA, those are the criminals that are sending it out. Where is the outrage? Where is the outcry on that? How many of us have to lose our children to the drugs that we get prescriptions by our doctors that have no clue what that interaction is doing to our families? But yet it's the same doctors that say, smoke a joint. I don't have anything that I can give you that's going to relieve the anxieties that you hold today that may not only be physical, but may be psychological and only within you. You're going to have to make that decision and let them make it with their doctor. I stand in strong support. And I look forward to a very lively debate on how we save our young people and our young folks against the opiates and the pharmaceuticals that are flooding the state and are killing our families. I would ask for a very, very enthusiastic I vote. And let's be, let's be daring and let's take a look. We're moms and dads. Let's sit down at our kitchen tables and let's have this real discussion. It's about time. Marijuana? Vote aye.